Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Another Christmas has come and gone, and uh, you'd be uh, happy to know that I had a Merry Christmas, and I hope you did as well. It was a lot of fun here, uh, I would say. And, uh, oh, you, you're, you're wanting to know what I got? Yeah, oh. Oh. Well, I got this. Th this mug is as big as my head. I don't know what Christmas would be complete for me, even as an adult, uh, without something from uh, Star Wars. I don't know. I, I think that's how I grew up, you know. And uh, I still like being a kid at Christmas, even though I'm a little older than a kid. So there's the side of this mug here. It says Star Wars. And on this side, this is a message to all of you, okay, who have not yet subscribed to our channel or aren't following us on Twitter. If you're not watching LockerGnome.com, you must join us or die. Join us or die. That You have a choice. Uh, I don't care which way you go, honestly, because uh, we're going to be sharing this information regardless. So I'm going to make uh, very good use of uh, this mug right now. It's got some eggnog tea in there. I'm going to go ahead and set it to the side to show you what else I scored in my haul. Uh, I also got another mug. This is a holiday mug. This is kind of a fun one. Uh, I, I have a couple of, uh, 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 like, a stackable snowman mugs, uh, but I, I needed something bigger, like a latte mug, so that when I'm doing these TLDR live episodes, I don't have to constantly refill the mug uh, and, and I can stay hydrated. So uh, this side of the mug's got a little bump. There's no bump on that side. We're going to pick up a, a second one of these. I think it was a, a buck, mm -hmm. a dollar. Uh, so I got, I, I, I've, I'm so good on mugs, you would not believe <laughs> because I got another mug. Uh, since I collect Darth Vader stuff, uh, I got the Darth Vader mug. So at some point, you may see me sipping out of Darth Vader's head, which is kind of disgusting if you think about it, uh, but I, I now have a Darth Vader mug. I did not have one uh, until now. Now I have one. Uh, not dishwasher safe, this mug, by the way. That's what it says right there on the bottom. So I got uh, another mug there. Go ahead and turn. Hopefully I'm not knocking the mic. Uh, oh, and look at this. Another mug, and yet another mug. Now, admittedly, I did ask for these mugs. Uh, this, uh, it's a mug set of four. Uh, one has Han Solo and Boba Fett. Han Solo is my favorite rebel, and uh, Boba Fett, my favorite bounty hunter. And the other one has uh, Darth Vader. I had a look, and I'm like, who is that guy again? Oh yeah, Darth Vader, and uh, Luke Skywalker on the other side. And uh, that was kind of nice. This was a gift from uh, my girlfriend's parents. Very, very nice, Now I have plenty of mugs. Uh, oh, you're, you're, what else did I get? Be besides mugs, you, you'd have this feeling like I was addicted uh, to uh, drinking. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I'm also addicted to smelling good. This is uh, Polo. Nice, huh? And this is a gift from uh, Diana's father. I guess Polo is his favorite uh, cologne, and I've never had Polo before. So I'm very grateful uh, to now have this. I, I, you know, honestly, uh, I don't even think about uh, putting it on often, but now that it's sitting out there, I'm like, oh yeah, I, I'd like to smell good today, because usually I kind of stink, you know, as, as most uh, geeks, uh, you know, do, really. We, that's what we do for a living, we stink. <laughs> uh, okay, so what else did we get? Uh, I got uh, a little Darth Vader stuffed animal, and uh, I'm very happy because, uh, you know, I, I was worried that I was going to squish him last night, because I, I sleep with stuffed animals, and uh, I was afraid, but he was fine. He, 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 I don't sleep with stuffed animals. <laughs> Just so you know. It's not really a stuffed animal. It's a, it's a stuffed Sith. It's fine. A little stocking stuffer. You got stuffed in the stocking there. All right, let's put the Vader there. And I got some Darth Vader candy. See, I collect Darth Vader items. Uh, it fills my home office with a bit of fun. And you can watch my next home office tour. I do it as a kind of an annual tradition on New Year's Eve with Subservient Chris. So I will be recording a new home office tour on New Year's Eve, and so you can watch that. I think I've done that for the past three or four years. One year I didn't do it, and everyone got mad. Oh, they, you guys were so mad. Uh, all right, so uh, what else did I get? Uh, some, some more stocking stuffer, uh, or stuffers, I should say. I got, are you, are you, can you recognize this cube? You know what this is? I'm, uh, I'm going to watch the YouTube live comments. Let's see how lagged this is. Uh, although uh, Yamazaru Ninja says, don't be a hater, be a Vader. And definitely don't be a Vader hater. That would not be good. Okay, so what does this come from? Let's see here. Item box. 
Mario says intranets. Very good. Uh, Mario. This is a Mario cube. It came with candy inside. Uh, the candy has been removed. It's like candy coins, but this is kind of a little fun thing here. That was my best sound effect from uh, Mario's world. Uh, and then, uh, guess what I got? I got a Stormtrooper action figures. I started collecting Star Wars action figures uh, back when I was in the third grade. I got the first one, the AT-AT driver, for 99 cents. 99 cents. Now these things are like nine bucks. Uh, guess what else I got? I got a Stormtrooper. Yeah, I got it. So there's Stormtrooper. Guess what else I got? I got a Stormtrooper. Oh, look at that. Oh, got another Stormtrooper there. Can stack them up there? See, can you see all three? Look at that. Three Stormtroopers. Guess what else I got? I got a Stormtrooper. Look at that. Oh, it's another Stormtrooper. Mm-hmm. We're going to stack him there. And, ah, oh, that's going to dominoes there. All right, so we've got four. Four Stormtroopers. Ah, 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 ah. But what else I got? Look. Oh, it's a Stormtrooper. Look at that. Five. Five Stormtroopers. Now they're dominoes affecting there. Ah, okay. They're falling over. They're done. Five Stormtroopers. And the wonderful thing about having five Stormtroopers is that now I can send away for the limited edition white Boba Fett action figure. And we all know what happened when I opened the uh, limited edition Lego white Boba Fett minifig. Everyone lost their hearing. Uh, but, you know, what else is fun to do with Stormtroopers is pose them in real-world situations. Like, I'm, I can take the Stormtrooper out of the packaging, and I will, and place it next to this mug, and, and, and it would be just gigantic next to it. And so I can say, and I can say, caption this photo, and you guys would caption this photo. It would be a lot of fun. So uh, stay tuned for some more Stormtrooper fun. Now that I have five of them, my collection has started. Oh, my God. This, I'm not, I, honey, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going to start collecting Stormtrooper and action <laughs> figures. I swear. We're, we're, okay, so let's place that down here. Good, you say? All right. No, I said we're good. Oh, we're good. Although, if I do see more Stormtrooper action figures, I just may partake. Mm. All right, I did get more. I also received $100, a gift certificate from uh, Gregoris. That's his name. I don't know his uh, uh, last name. That's uh, assumedly his first name. Uh, it was an email he sent to me, and he said, uh, Hi there, Chris. It's nice to see your videos as I have been enjoying them and being part of your IRC channel for a few years. That's the one at live.perillo.com, courtesy of geekshed.net. I'd like to offer you a late Christmas present. Uh, it's not much, uh, since I won't be at the live event. Uh, also for New Year's, hopefully watch it on New Year's Day on YouTube. Anyway, I could give you the gift of a $100 gift card on Amazon, and he did. And uh, thank you. You have no idea how much that means to me. Uh, and I have been receiving plenty of gifts as you've seen uh, play out over the past couple of weeks from my Amazon.com uh, wish list, go.tagjag.com slash wish list. Uh, and so it, it's nice when you guys do things like this because it, it lets me know that it's not just me babbling into the camera, that I'm actually making some connections with you beyond I leave a comment here or you like something. When you, when you do that, it just shows me how much you value the things uh, that I do. And uh, let's go ahead. Uh, I got... On, on the mugs, actually, uh, this was on, on Diana's parents' suggestion, uh, I, I had a few lottery tickets. And I haven't used a lottery ticket or purchased one since I, I think I was like 18. It's been years. Uh, I'm not a you know, huge fan of it. But I, I think I had 10 of them total, and two of them were winners. So uh, I guess they would have spent about $20 or $10 on it. And one of them, this one, won $20. And uh, this one won a dollar. So I won $21. Nice little gift there. Lottery tickets I never would have imagined. Um, so let's go ahead and I got this as well. Uh, one, of, uh, one, of the, one of you out there, uh, Hector, uh, he's a fan of us, the channel, and uh, he's also Diana's brother. And Hector gave me a $100 gift card for Lego. So I will be using this, absolutely. Uh, I don't know when or for what. There are a lot of sets and minifigs that I'm, I'm very anxious to get my hands on. Uh, and I talked about that in a, a, an earlier Lego video that I just recorded before this one. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and show you, speaking of Lego, uh, the Lego that I got. This is one from uh, my brother and his girlfriend, uh, Adam and Nicole. This is set uh, 5983 SP Undercover Cruiser. And uh, it's really nice because I get this minifig pretty unique this shark looking dude jawson is his name nice and you're saying to yourself chris why you're a grown man why don't you like lego why don't you get other stuff dude 
I would rather have Lego than socks. Honestly. Um, why didn't you ask for a digital camera? Because I already have one. Why didn't you ask for a computer? Because I already have one. Why do you keep asking for Lego? Because they're always producing new sets. And, you know, I plan on staying like a kid uh, until the day I die. And I'm fine with that. Uh, this is another gift from Adam and Nicole. Uh, number 5973, also from the Space Police uh, series. Hyperspeed Pursuit, that includes the Skull Twins. Uh, two minifigs that I did not have. Very happy about this. Uh, yeah, you know, I, honestly, I... It's, I, you could say it's an obsession. My home office is starting to look like a Lego store. Uh, but, you know, I think about it, and year after year, you know, things have come and gone. Uh, you know, I've had asked for gadgets and geeky things, but the, the biggest issue I have with those as gifts is sometimes I need them, right? And I'm going to go out and get them because I need them for my business. Uh, but they just don't hold, like, any kind of sentimental, va sentimental value to me. And, you know, I, the Lego that I might get, the bricks and the sets and the minifigs, I'm going to hold on to forever, you know, and they may become family heirlooms. So uh, also for my family, I finally got the Hoth Echo Base, 773 pieces, uh, set number 7879. This is from Mom and Dad. Yes, they know that I'm addicted. Let me see here if I can show you the array of minifigs that I got in this one. Uh, another Tauntaun. I already had one. A Han Solo and Hoth regalia. Uh, Princess Leia and Hoth. Uh, Luke Skywalker, and he's all beat up because he's, you know, attacked by the Wampa. Uh, which we reviewed in an earlier video, the, the Hoth uh, uh, Wampa Cave. Uh, another Chewy, nothing really uh, interesting about that. Uh, the 21B medical droid, that'll be my, uh, the only one that I have of him. An R3PO, or red protocol droid, and two snow troopers. Why don't you play uh, SWTOR? Because I'm just not a big RPGer. I'd rather have fun in the real world than the virtual world. Uh, and then an older set here. I'm very happy to have this one. Uh, this is the Home One Mon Calamari Star Cruiser. Uh, and this is a set number 7754, ages 9 through 14. I think you could add those two numbers up, and I'm still older. Uh, the minifigs that this set comes with, by the way, uh, really, really happy about. Let me make sure. Yeah, that's all. Uh, Admiral Akbar, I already had him. Uh, a Mon Calamari, a soldier. Uh, Mon Mothma. Uh, Lando Calrissian. Finally, I've got my Lando minifig, General Medin, and an A-wing pilot. Uh, it says new Ad Admiral Akbar minifigure, uh, but I also got him earlier with a magnet where I could remove him from the magnetic base. So that was for my parents as well, if I didn't mention that. And, uh, you know, I had a few other stocking stuffers and some candy, uh, but uh, I also got a, uh, this minifig here, this uh, 3PO minifig. Let me go ahead and take it out. Now, I've, I had the C-3PO minifig already. This this little minifig. Now, the reason why I got this Lego minifig from my girlfriend, Diana, who's grinning behind the camera. Let's see if it'll get in focus. There we go. It's kind of going in and out. It's pro oh, I guess this was, this has been going on the whole time. Here, let me turn that off. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to distract you from uh, what was going on in the foreground. Uh, this 3PO is just a, a standard, average uh, 3PO. Uh, he's, he's got a gold tint to him, but really no more than a, a few dollars. And on my wish list, I had listed the super limited edition 1 in 10,000 uh, C-3PO minifig that's more golden than this particular uh, gold paint on, uh, or I guess the, the gold brick on this 3PO. And it's expensive. It was, it's very expensive. The super special edition 3PO. This is not the super special edition. I already had a 3PO. Actually, I think I had a few. Uh, but this is yet another one. And Diana says, I'm sorry, I couldn't get the other one. I thought you didn't have this one, so I got it for you anyway. I'm like, it's okay, it's okay. No, no, no. I, she said, well, I can send it back. I'm like, no, no, no. Another minifig's a good minifig, even if I have a dupe. Fine. So uh, I've got a 3PO minifig there. I set it back behind me. And after I thought I was done with uh, unwrapping all the presents that I got under the tree, uh, the, uh, uh, Diana says, well, I got something for you. I got something else, but I was thinking about returning it. I'll let you open it and then just let me know. And so, uh, I opened up, uh, uh, her, uh, the, the, the gift she brought out. And, uh, this was what was inside a unopened one of 10,000 limited edition Lego C3PO, uh, Super, 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 super rare. And I know it's the real 3PO. It's not Jar Jar Binks inside. Here, let me see. They've got a little hole in the end so you can see uh, bits and pieces. I don't know if that gold is going to show through. There we go. See the luster on this 3PO? The other one's flat. This one has luster in the corner there. So um, 
I'm going to record a separate video today in the live TLDR episode, uh, if you're watching this video separate from that. Um, should I open this? This was very expensive, a few hundred dollars. I, I was shocked that, I, I, you know, apparently, you know, my girlfriend really loves me. Uh, this is a very, very rare. Uh, this is probably my the crown jewel. You know, I appreciated when I got the white Boba Fett and I freaked out on the camera, and I'm sorry for making everybody's ears bleed with that. I, I didn't scream as loudly with this. I was more like, I can't believe you got this. I was in shock. But, you know, I'm not going to say this trumps the white Boba Fett, but it's certainly... It's more rare than the White Boba Fett, and it means a lot to me because Diana uh, gave it to me, and so I'm very, very uh, happy about that. So here's the question, and I'm asking you this to the live YouTube audience or potentially you watching this now. By the time it's recorded, the answer will have already been uh, uh, played out. Should I open this? Uh, you know, I've, I've heard people say, no, you shouldn't because it'll be worth more. I've heard people say, yeah, you should because you can enjoy it. Uh, you know, I enjoy Lego because I, I take them out of the box. Uh, the, the bricks and the minifigs and, and everything. Um, yeah, I, I, I want to I look at it. I want to see it. I want to play with it. I want to hold it in my hands, not just a little corner of it. Uh, and some collectors said, well, you know, if it's up against others in a closed auction, it may not fetch as much because the, the bag itself is wrinkled. Um, you know, if I do open it, I will uh, continue holding on to this particular bag because this is very, very rare. Uh, and I'll be very careful how I uh, open it. Yeah, open. Someone says you might as well open it right now. Does it trump? Wow, great gift, Diana. Uh, see, we all agree. So here's what I've done. If you go over to my you, or, sorry, you're on my YouTube page. If you go over to my Facebook page, facebookcom Perillo, you can subscribe if you haven't already. And I've set up a poll. This is the easiest way I'm going to be able to do this because on YouTube Live doesn't have a poll. So the poll. On my currently on my uh, Facebook page, and you may have to scroll down a bit depending on how much more has been posted since this video is recorded. Should I open this Lego Limited Edition C3PO minifig, one of 10,000, on the YouTube live show today? So we are going to have our answer before this episode is finished recording. Right now, 40 votes say yes, I should open it, and only 11 of you say no. And that's according to the official Facebook poll. I will be recording a separate video. Uh, where you can discover uh, whether or not I, I did open this, and if I did, what it looks like, and if I didn't, uh, then you, I guess we all have to do a second voting mechanism. If more people vote you know, on that page by commenting yes, then eventually I'll open it. I don't know. Should I or, or, or should I not? Let me know. So that was, uh, that was my haul. Uh, someone says uh, TFP, FP, or I think it's Fireman Rich, says open it and put it in a glass case like I did for the uh, uh, Sears Snaggletooth Special Edition. Uh, that would be the, the Kenner uh, Star Wars action figure. Do it. Stop teasing us, says Entire Gaming. No, I've got to let people vote. We'll do it at the end of the episode. So you can either fast forward if you're watching the live version of it or, well, obviously not when it's going live, but the recorded version of it. Uh, and I also want to point out, if you have not already seen Diana's haul uh, to see what she got for Christmas, you might want to take a look. Uh, that, I, that video was just uploaded this morning. Uh, and I let her watch it, so she gave uh, full permission. She recorded it. She did an amazing job showing you everything that she got. And if you have any questions for her, uh, you, you, you can ask in that channel. Hopefully you'll be uh, you know, polite, conduct yourselves you know, with uh, you know, a, a modicum of uh, you know, self-respect and certainly mutual respect. Uh, you know, even if you're not a female, you might be a guy who's trying to attract a female, or maybe you have a female and you're trying to keep her in your life. Uh, you may get some ideas on some gifts uh, for the woman in your world, or possibly send it along to uh, your girlfriend, wife, whatever, and say, hey, what do you think about some of these things? Get some ideas. Come on. It's not just about you. It's not just about me. It's about the other people in your life as well. So be sure to watch Diana's haul uh, as well uh, as uh, staying tuned to see if I, I do open my super limit. She, Diana wants me to open the 3PO. <laughs> Great. I'm not... I, it's not going to be worthless if I open it, but I'm just still kind of... I love that haul, Chris, says Daniel Wee Jones. He, Daniel, by the way, is the one who gave me the uh, Lego Special Edition White Boba Fett. Thank you again, Daniel. She did a great job of presenting it. They all agree. I mean, when you, when you love the stuff that you get, you just love sharing it with the world. So hopefully everybody else had uh, Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays if you didn't uh, happen to celebrate uh, Christmas. Uh, we'll be celebrating our next winter holiday uh, on uh, New Year's Eve as I, I stream... Mm, I guess, our New Year's celebration live on uh, YouTube. And I guess with that, uh, the next Christmas haul video you see from me will be next year, but we'll be producing 50 videos a week on YouTube. So 
you know, don't, don't just wait to tune in a year from now. 